Okay, morning guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all okay. Um, well, uh, first things first, uh, it stopped raining, so that's good. So pleased about that. And um, what was the other thing? Can't remember what it was now. Anyway, it'll come back to me later. Yeah, so this morning, uh, um, at another one of my favourite places, it's the, you probably still behind me there, the mill at Sturminster Newton in Dorset. And again, love it here, it's a really nice place. And apparently there's, I don't know if there still is, there used to be quite a few mills along this river. I'm on the River Stour, and you've got the mill there behind me, and I know there's another one, sort of derelict one, just up the road, and there's another one, oh, I think it's Filford Mill, Filford Manor, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm here this morning and the water level has actually gone down. This was quite, um, well, it wasn't flooded, but the water level was really high up to about a day or so ago. So anyways, the uh, composition is the river, the mill, and the weir in the background there. I've taken this a few times. I took, I actually come down in the snow uh, beginning of the year, took some. Oh, I remember what the other thing was. It's got cold. My hands are cold, the gloves are in the car. we have got my bobblehead on, keep my head warm. That was the other thing. So yeah, it's gonna crack on. It's about 20 to eight in the morning. I was hoping for a bit of a sunrise, but it's cloudy, but there are kind of breaks in the clouds. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that as the sun rises, as, it, as the cloud breaks, you just get a bit of light shine on the um, mill there because technically it's not really a sunrise shot because the sunrise is over there um, in front of me but it would just be nice to have had a little bit of golden light on the mill there but you know I might get it I might not I don't know um, yeah so crack on and I'll speak to you in a bit yeah, so at the minute guys I've got just a polarizer on to take a little bit of the glare off the water. I've got an ND, a soft edge ND grad on just to bring the sky out a little bit. And that's giving me, have a look, it's got a bit brighter now, so just, so that's giving me eight seconds, which is quite a lot, but what, you, what, what you've got, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, you've got all these where all the foam's churned up from the weir there, it's got all these white floating on the river. And if you s slow the shutter speed down, you get all these lovely white streaks on the river. So that's the plan. So I'll just shoot one off at eight seconds. There we go. That's looking really, really good. Well, I'm going to push the boat out a bit. Excuse the pun, being by a river it. And I'm going to put a three stop on. If I can get it in. Okay, let's have a look. Let's crack that up. Oh, I've got to go into bulb mode already. Okay, right. Let's have a look. In bulb mode. I'm going to go four. I'll try a minute. This should look really nice if this comes out all right. It's not blown out. There we are. Come up to a minute. Boom. Oh, actually, I need to go longer. Right. Okay, so we're going to go for a minute and a half this time. Okay, guys, a little bit of information about the mill. Apparently, in um, 2016, it celebrated a thousand years of milling on this site. I think this one here has been there since about 1600, I think. Might be wrong. But um, you can actually, actual fact, probably not, not so much in the winter time, but during the sort of spring and summer time, the, the miller is actually there and you can do a little tour of the mill. It's one of the few remaining mills on the River Stour that's actually still mills. And um, 
yeah, probably last year sometime, the wife and I, I was here to take the photographs like you do, and I had a little wander around. It's really interesting. It's worth worth a trek. It's not run by National Trust or anything, so it's all, um, I think it's like the, the Sturman the Newton Mill Society or something like that, and they they keep it going. So, yeah, if you're down this way, if you're on holiday or so, it'd be great for the kids, have a wander around, see all the mill work and everything. It's really good. Uh, it's not that expensive, really, in the whole scale of things. And, um, yeah, so if you're down this way, you know, give it a check it out. Okay, right, now I've got graduated filter on, I've got a polarizer on, and a three stop. And the three stop, surprisingly, I mean, it's still quite dark, I suppose. I've just done a minute exposure, that was still dark. So I've up to a minute 45, I think, and it's still quite dark. So I'm just going to shoot off a two minute one now. And that's perfect. So another minute, it's two minutes because obviously the sun's still coming up. And that actually looks really good. You've got these lovely streaks just on the river, on the top of the river there. The mill in the background and the weather. The only thing you've got to watch when you're doing really long exposures with when the water's flowing really fast is you can tend to blow out on, on the white water. So you have to be a little, I mean, I suppose you can blend images together and all that kind of thing, but it's just something just to watch out for. So I'm going to crack on and do some more um, photography. Okay, guys, well, the sun has risen. Uh, behind me, I've got some broken cloud, which is pretty cool. So hopefully, you know, it might touch wood just um, light up a bit. I'm so glad the rain stopped there. It just, um, I'm sure you guys probably feel the same. It just went on and on and on and on. Just didn't seem to stop. But um, yeah, it's been quite pleasant at the minute. Morning, you're right. We've got a bit of cake. How old are they then? Three. Yeah. Three. We're thinking of getting one. We're, we're like um, we're thinking of getting. Is it a cocker spaniel? They're King Charles. Spaniel. Oh, they're King Charles. All right. They're lovely, isn't you? Yeah. Oh, you're lovely, isn't you? Well, they love. Well, this one especially would do anything for food. Yeah. See. All right. So I see people with a picnic. On oh no, 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 just on the leaves. no, just warming up a bit. Oh, temperatures drop now, isn't it? Well, winter's when it's well, Yeah, clocks yeah. change weekend, don't they? Quite dramatic pictures of the mill, I think, when the weather's bad. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping I've got a little bit of um, sunlight just to shine on it this morning, but it's just gone all flat, in it? Yeah. Still, looking quite nice, though. Yeah, so I mean... Well, I imagine the water was up here the other day, wasn't it? Oh, it goes right up. You see where the water butt is? It will flood right up Really? To the oh, yeah. Yeah, some years back we couldn't get across the bridge. It was it was flooded right up to the cottage. Blimey. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah, it was a Christmas time and people over that side who had ordered their meat from the butchers in here for Christmas, they had to come with a tractor. Oh really? Yeah, get sure. the meat across to them for their Christmas uh, yeah. Christmas dinners, yeah. And I think it's been much worse. If you look at the mill, um, there's a sign. I think it's that underneath that window. You see? That? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think it's been. Oh up yeah, there well, blimey. In the past, yeah, the mill often floods in the winter. It's a lovely mill, isn't it? It's a lovely it spot. Is, and it still works. Yeah. Still, they still do the milling. Yeah, we came down. I think it's last year, and the the chap was in there, showed us round. Yeah. one was when we had the cheese festival and he was milling. Oh yeah, yeah. But, um, anyway, come on you boys. Yeah, Let's that's go it, go have a bit of breakfast. Yep, yeah, nice to meet you. Come on. 
Yeah, so life don't get much better than that, does it? Bit of cake, cooked by the wife's daughter, cup of coffee, fresh air, just relaxing, enjoying life. And yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Lovely. This is beautiful as cake. Just a little thing here. Quite often, when you get a Victoria sponge, they're very light, but they seem to really skimp on the jam and the cream. When um, Margaret's daughter makes it, you get a nice lot of jam, nice lot of cream, really moist bit of cake, superb. All right. All gone. Okay guys, well I think I'm going to ditch the 10 stop because it's just too dark and I don't think I'm really going to get any benefit from it. Well guys, uh, I found this other composition, as you probably see behind me, I've got this, what's left of the, the willow tree, and I think it's an ash tree behind me. So I've gone down a little bit low, as you can see, and it's just kind of framing the mill in the, in the background there. Because there's quite a long exposure, I'm getting a little bit of movement on the, um, on the leaves there. It actually looks quite good, a little bit of blurred, it's kind of like almost like a little vignette just around the um, around the mill there. So we'll take a couple of shots here and uh, see what they come out like. The ones I've taken just now look really good with the, um, I guess you call it the foam, the foam just going along. It forms this like really white kind of silky blanket over the top of the river. That's just pretty good. So I'll take a few more shots and then, um, then I'll get back to you again. Okay guys, I um, hope you can hear me over the water because I'm right by the weir now. And I've just come across this composition here. So you've got the bridge going over in the mill just on the left there. Just so like this water's coming down. And I've got a shutter speed of a sixth of a second. And it's just like forming this curtain of water. And uh, yeah, just something a little bit different. I was wandering over the bridge and I saw this, so I thought I'd give it a go. Like I say, it's so noisy here. We've got the weir just behind me. We've got this kind of pool just going down here. But the shots look really good. Just, yeah, I say, something a little bit different. And just above it, I've got all these hogs here, I guess, for the sluice gate. So, yeah, it's a nice little shot. Okay, guys, you can probably see behind me, I've got another composition here. Just move out your way. So you've got the mill, and you've got all these, well, they're kind of dead reeds now, I suppose and the weir in the background. Just something a little different, I've not taken this shot before. Um, got an exposure about 15 seconds. Got the three stop on, the ND grad, just to kind of bring the sky out a little bit. And yeah, it's quite a nice shot. Yeah, so um, that's another one in the bag, hopefully. Okay guys, we're gonna call it a day now. So I've had a really good time this morning. Weather hasn't been great. It's been very gray and a bit flat. Um, didn't get the light shine on the mill in the end, but, but overall I had a good day, got some nice long exposure shots. Um, get home now, have a cup of tea, a bit of breakfast. So yeah, thanks again for, for watching, thanks for listening. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, from Stu Sturminster Newton Mill, um, I'll say goodbye and I'll catch you on the next one. So look after yourselves and take care and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers then. Bye.